The city of Detroit is known for the car industry and even the Motown sound. But did you know that Detroit was also known uh, for boxing, pretty big with boxing? And most of the boxers worked hard and, and trained inside of the famous Kronk Boxing Gym. Yes, Local 4's Larry Spruill shows us how the gym is not just resting on the past, but will continue to win in the future. You can see the bright red and yellow colors spelling out the name Kronk Gym on the boxing gym doors. From the outside, the name is respected among the city of Detroit, especially here on Detroit's west side. But it's here inside the gym where that respect is earned and given. The Kronk Gym is a internationally world famous gym. Yes, well, we, 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 we captured it all over the world, amateur and pro. Kronk Gym CEO Sylvia Stewart Williams knows the heavyweight the Kronk name carries. That's because she is the daughter of Emmanuel Stewart. <laughs> Double up on the jail. Her father, Emmanuel Stewart, a well-known American boxer, trainer, and commentator for HBO Boxing, trained 41 world champion fighters throughout his career right here at Kronk Gym. And there are some big names. And then it goes on like this. This is um, Hugh McKinty, our first fighter. Thomas Hearn, Milton McCoy, Jimmy Paul, Dwayne. Former boxing champion Milton McCrory started boxing and training at Kronk Gym in 1975. He was just 13 years old. Tommy was the hit man, I was the ice man. His professional record, 35, 4, and 1. 35 for 1, 25 knockouts. My first five fights was knockouts, but after my third fight, my, my trainer, Walter Smith, said, you've been knocking people out, you should have been icing them. Now you can see the history and accolades of Kronk all around the gym's wall. They were Mayor of Wayne, the John Racy. There's so much history here that uh, I, I, you just don't want to see that get forgotten. But Kronk supporter John Kerry tells me, let's be real, it'll be hard to forget the legacy of Kronk Jim. That name is still strong today because there's still champions coming from all over the world right now. The history, legacy, and former boxers are definitely a part of Kronk Gym, but Rhonda Mitchell says the future of the gym is even brighter. We have new technology, we have new talent, and it's very important to have the gym in these day and age because it allowed the young people to come to a place of refuge where they can come and they can feel safe. We are not going anywhere, we're here to stay. Reporting at Kronk Gym on the Detroit's west side, Larry Spruill, Local 4. Oh, the history there. So much history there, that is for sure. And it's great to see that it's still thriving and, and training and you know giving kids as well as all ages an opportunity to, to learn the sport. Someone else you know trained there. Oh. <laughs> Yours truly for Halloween. I do remember. We played yes. Muhammad Ali. <laughs> it was just cool to be in that space and, and see all that stuff in person on the all walls the and, and everything and, yeah. and hear them talk about the history there. Yeah. So glad I got to experience that.